Welcome, people of Planet Earth and all planets beyond. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Josh, and welcome to Heat Check, powered by Defunct.com. This is our bi-weekly look at the top 10 highest selling vintage t-shirts on eBay. So let's get in and see what made the list. Kicking us off at number 10, we have this 1970s Levi's Western Yellow Vintage T-shirt. Levi's did a series of T-shirts in the 70s with these big graphic tees. Um, this one's got a big mega print, though. I wouldn't call it all over print or anything like that. The back is uh, empty, uh, but it's definitely pretty cool. Uh, I recently sold one very similar to this. Uh, these uh, start. Uh, we're starting to see a few more of these sales pop up recently, and it might, you know, sometimes they cascade when one sells and there seems to be an appetite for it. Another one gets listed and sold. So this one's super dope. I bet this is probably some early like uh, 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 advertising print that they reprinted on here, but uh, as they tended to do. But this one's super cool, and it sold for one thousand dollars plus shipping. Great, great T-shirt. Then at number nine, we're going to start seeing a theme here, uh, probably because we had recently a rare Nirvana t-shirt found uh, from the Heart Shape Box uh, tour in Canada. Uh, so there's a lot of hype around it, so I think we're going to see a few more of these on the list. But we have this Nirvana Heart Shape Box tour tee. This one's got some holes, which would explain why it went for what it did. Um, uh, normally these go for a little bit more than this, but it's got holes, but otherwise it's a pretty good condition size large good size I probably could have had a better title might have helped it, uh, but this one sold for one thousand and one hundred dollars uh, But that's not gonna be the only one that we see on this list Then we have this rare 1980s vintage the flaming lips acid UFOs band t-shirt uh, this one is super cool uh, definitely has the 80s look, 80s vibe in the t-shirt, uh, but the look of the graphic is incredible on this thing. Um, looks, I mean, it looks like almost brand new. There is some cracking, obviously, but man, it looks super good. The contrast is great. Uh, I don't believe, I think the tag has been removed. It looks like eh, it's not been removed so much as it's really hard to distinguish. I don't know if they give us a close-up picture. There looks to be a little bit of discoloration, but for a t-shirt like this, you'll live with it. Uh, it is super cool and super dope. This one it sold for $1,200. Now next up we have another vintage 1970s Levi's Cowboy Ringer t-shirt. This one's size medium, so this is pretty impressive. Uh, but it's a great, great t-shirt. This is an advertisement, a pretty classic Levi's advertisement printed on here. Um, not as wild as some of the other ones that are a part of this line. Um, we actually can see uh, the care tag here. Um, it says, uh, looks like it's either going to say... Uh, uh, 1985 or 1975 here with a 12.5, which is typically where the date code is adjacent to the um, factory code across, which is 654M. Uh, but it, it's quite possible it's, it's the 70s. Uh, it's kind of hard to pinpoint exactly where some of these were made uh, or when some of these were made. But still, this one is super cool, super rare, and it went for a super high price. It went for $1,226 with 32 bids. So people definitely trying to get their hands on this one. Then up next, we have the Mazzy Star Vintage Shoegaze Band tee. Uh, this is the long sleeve version. Uh, not a whole lot going on, but that was you know pretty typical for like grunge bands back then. Looks like we got single stitch maybe on the sleeves. Like is that like almost looks like three quarter sleeves, but I'm sure it's not. Uh, here we can't really tell, but it almost looks like a European Screen Stars tag. Uh, hard to tell. Backside looks fine. Not a lot going on with this T-shirt, but it is a rare T-shirt and it did sell for one thousand two hundred and fifty dollars. Been a minute since we've seen a good 3D emblem Harley tee on here, but we have the 3D emblem Harley Bad to the Bone 1987 t-shirt. Uh, this one looks great. The, the the image looks crisp and clear. The design definitely has, has a little few holes here and there, um, but that's nothing you'll be too upset about with this dope t-shirt right here. Size large, good size. Um, this one is sold for a lot of money. It did not sell for... Uh, $2,000 as it appears here, but it did sell for $1,453. That is the offer that they took. Um, 
instead of waiting for the auction to end. So pretty amazing t-shirt right here. Uh, we, like I said, we haven't seen a lot of these 3, 3D emblems on the list in a while, so uh, pretty cool to see one now. Then next we have one of the coolest vintage Marvel t-shirts. It's the Wolverine Omega Red Mega Print All Over t-shirt. This one is incredible and it is dead stock. Still has the sticker attached. They, uh, the buyer said it was removed from its original packaging so they could get uh, the pictures. Um, but man, is this one sick. Uh, let's see. I mean, I think it's the same image on the back side. Um, sometimes that's the case. Eh, they're not showing us. Are they showing us? I don't think they're showing us. So I'm not seeing the backside picture here. That's not the backside picture. Um, I prefer that they would have shown the backside picture just if, you know, just for posterity of like, hey, knowing what's on the back. Uh, but I assume the same image is on the back. That's typically how it goes uh, with these t-shirts. But this one went for $2,000 plus shipping. They got what they're asking and it deserves it because this is an amazing t-shirt. All right, now for the triple crown of the top three, we have the vintage Nirvana heart-shaped box tee. Not gonna say too much more about it because we all know, but this one definitely looks a little bit better than the previous ones. Uh, the size looks really good. Looks like it's an XL. Uh, maybe, yeah, it's size an XL, so it's a good size. A couple little pinholes according to the, the seller, um, but still super dope t-shirt. And uh, this one went for $2,100. Here we go again. I normally, again, wouldn't put these on the list, but because of the so many were on the list and because of the recent hype, I did want to highlight it. This is that same t-shirt. Looks like it's this, uh, the Brockham License Giant as well with a couple pinholes. Pretty much the same does, uh, pretty much the same condition as the previous one. Um, the measurements, they give us the measurements on this. It is the same measurements as the previous one, XL. This one once sold for $2,200 at number two. So if you're gonna spend a small fortune on a vintage t-shirt like the ones we see on this list, uh, you better be sure that it's authentic. Whether you're buying or selling, it's important to know that what you're buying or selling is real and not a fake or a forgery, especially with as many fakes are out there these days. And our friends over at Legitimate are the people to talk to. Their iOS app gives you access to an enthusiast community that can evaluate your t-shirt for free, or you can use their paid services to get your t-shirt professionally authenticated. Legitimate has the tools to give you peace of mind about the t-shirt that you're either buying or selling. And if you use the code LOOTFAM, you can get 25% off of your purchase. The link to download the app is in the description below. And with that, let's get to number one. And at number one, you guessed it, the Nirvana heart-shaped box torti. But this one is a little bit different and unique, and then because of such, deserves to be at number one. This is the Australian version of the T-shirt for the Australia portion of the tour, so it's a little bit rarer than the American T-shirt. It's not as rare as the Canadian version, apparently. Uh, but this one, uh, made by Acme. Uh, apparently is the Australia uh, Australian version of the t-shirt uh, I haven't seen this t-shirt before but I have found some other sales in the past around of this price this one went for two thousand seven hundred and forty nine dollars and ninety nine cents super cool and a rare print at that all right so heart shaped box definitely dominated uh, we normally don't let so many on the list because it just gets so repetitive but this week with all the hype about the uh, rare Canadian version getting uh, found in a rag house, I figured uh, we'll just let all the rules slide this week because uh, they did make uh, big sales all week long. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for the sponsors, Defunct.com and Legitimate. Uh, we appreciate you both watching and we will see you guys next week. Peace.